You know who's a villain in the NFL right now? That would be Vontez Burfik. I don't know what Burfik think the next move for him really is. Because the next move is probably out of this league. Pittsburgh Steelers running back Le'Veon Bell says Vontez Burfik has, quote, got to go. You know what, Vontez? Enough is enough. A lot of people say that, oh, he's a dirty player, he does this, he does that. And there's a fine line in football, and um, I think that I'm right at that line. I used to live like literally like right off this exit behind us and then we moved so far away so I'm like still not used to it. My chef makes me three meals, three small portion of meals throughout the day, which is lunch, a second lunch, and then a dinner. So I usually I usually intake like three thousand calories a day. Low carbs, high protein type of meals. On Wednesdays our meetings at 845. I usually get there around this time. You mic'd up? <laughs> Back in the day, they would probably say Vontaze Beverly is a great linebacker, but you know, rules change and things change, and um, do the game change, and uh, you know, I have to change with it. I've been with Marvin six years now, and he's seen who I am as a person and seen me around my family and, you know, know that I have a good, genuine heart. And uh, he just wants other people to see that rather than, you know, people always trying to bash me. And uh, I told him, you know, that doesn't bother me. So he's like, you know, well, I'm, you know, put my foot forward and, you know, try to help. Okay. After physically, have fun. All right? Be ready to play that on Sunday. Coach G's been helping me, you know, just change with the game, and and I'll still be that dominant linebacker. The, uh, the quarterback, okay? I, to be honest with you guys, he, he, when I turn the tape on, I know what to expect. He's a little bit better than I thought. He throws one speed ball. It's a straight ball. Um, he's pretty standard in the pocket. So he's going to hold the football back, and it's going to give us an opportunity to, to rush this guy. Kez, you're going to have to take this. <laughs> Nick, I want you to try to get underneath this one. Okay. Right? Yeah, is it, is it hard? Yeah, we, we're not used to doing these things. Football's something that I love and, you know, I hate to lose, so I'm going to give it my all just to not obviously lose and being so competitive, you know, playing football with my brother when I was young, always losing to him and building that reputation like, damn, I'm always losing to him, man. I'm going to beat him one day, so just always competing with him made me competitive and just try hard in everything I do. I get in the hot tub every day. I get in the cold tub uh, Thursdays after practice and then uh, before the game. I feel like getting in the cold tub, it releases a soreness. Getting in the hot tub, it kind of makes the blood flow. So I kind of go back and forth for about three minutes each. The first time I did it was in college, and I think I, I think I had like 18 tackles. I think it was against Stanford. I think I had like 18 tackles, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to stick to that regimen. Get in the cold tub, hot tub for the game, and then I get stretched. So I just stick to it, and that's what I've been doing for, what, eight years now?
I like to go home, play video games. Yeah. Can't wake Ooh. up. Where's the energy? And uh, you know, chill with my family. It's a blessing.